Greetings, hi, the war Al greets you, and welcome to another Matchmaking Academy, where you are the star for all the wrong reasons, but don't worry, we're gonna figure out what those reasons are. Our hero today is gonna be Rollerblade Guy 47. It troubles me that there are at least 46 other Rollerblade guys out there. He's a legendary Eagle player. That's here. So this is going to be a little bit more on the higher level skill side of things. And he had some very specific questions about how to deal with stuff here. Um, he also, his team, won seven points, T-side nuke, and then went on to lose the game. So he wanted to know how did that happen. So we're going to go into that. Keep in mind, very brave guy to send in the demo. Always make it just a commitment to improving at the game. That is great. I accept demos from all skill levels. Um, so we're a little bit higher this time, so don't mock people for their skill, for their mistakes. We're going to be showing the mistakes, because that is how you improve. So no disparaging uh, comments. Are you going to shoot him? With <laughs> this guy's such a noob! Alright, let's go back and figure out what happened there. Alright, I want to show the mistake here from this guy's perspective, the guy that killed him. The best way to understand what happened is uh, to view it from your opponent's point of view. So as you can see, he gets bomb control, so right now terrorists have to aggress him. So he's like, okay, where's the best place to hide? Where's the best place to hide? I know, up here at Sandbags. Of course, there's no Sandbags here in CSGO, but... Yeah, you know what I mean, this, play, this spot, I call it Sandbags. He's hiding up here. Terrorists are about to push. So now it's a 1v2. This is a situation where terrorists should have it, because you can always just trade for the win. They don't know where this guy is, though. Bomb is down. The first mistake was leaving that bomb dropped back there to go for picks, and then when the player went to get it, he came back and lost bomb control. If, you're, if your terrorists are moving around like that, you always want to have a guy with the bomb at that point in the game. He had to run all the way back to get that bomb, and that's unacceptable. So the first thing is don't let yourself get into this situation. Watch what happens, though, as these players move in. Um, this player, whose name I'm not going to say, uh, see the tells that he gets. He knows where both of these terrorists are. Watch how he knows. Or listen. Here's the players blowing. Here's the pickup. Squeak? Okay, right now he hears the squeak. That's a big tell. There's one coming from Squeaky. He, know, he hears the guy running around below him. How does he know when the guy below him is going to push? I'm throwing a flash bang. That flash gave it away. So he now knows where both of these players are exactly so he can execute his attack. And player is sighted. We see the player on the bottom left. Staring at his teammate, wondering, huh, I wonder what he's doing looking up in the sky. So Rollerblade guy, all he really did was make a mistake in his shooting. It was his teammate that made the real mistake here that caused them to lose this thing. Or it could have been Rollerblade guy not giving proper communication. But at the same time, Mono Lord there should have seen his teammate shooting up at something and been like, hey, maybe there's a guy there. Maybe I should do something. Instead, he just sort of stares at him like, um... Hey, buddy, uh, is, is everything okay? What are you doing there? And he sees the blood flying all over and stuff. So that was a mistake here. It was all Mono Lord not to flip up and shoot this player and trade with Rollerblade Guy, which should have happened. So there you go. Couldn't have been easier. One of the specific questions this player had was about this round, and there is a lot to talk about in this pistol round. So all in Burton pistol round. These guys got seven points T-side, looking like they're setting themselves up to win this thing. So where did it go wrong? Well, terrorists are going to just be pushing at uh, ramp here. And we have one player to hold it off in a very, 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 shall I say, very one more time, forward position. Check this out. TEH here engages the entire team by himself. Instead of having a position behind that box so he could rotate down, or instead of um, being back there, there's just so many places he could be where he didn't have to engage the entire team at the same time. So that's the first mistake. Second mistake is about to run in here. Oh, he's 1G, so he's probably like totally pro, guys. And there's the mistake. He engages these players. He knows now from his teammates' call that all the terrorists have taken ramp. So what do you do? You do not sit here and watch those players take ramp or try to grab them as they go downstairs. The smart thing to do is reposition yourself knowing that terrorists have the ramp. So just to allow them to have it because engaging 1v5 here, once again, or 1v4, is not going to be the right call. Even if you get the trade, losing a CT, um, you're losing position right there. So he could have fallen back, held hell to make sure these terrorists do not go hell. 
which is the room right behind him. So, And then rotate some of the counter-terrorists downstairs. And as we see, our hero and mono lord actually are about to rotate downstairs just in case these guys take it. But engaging 1v4, he deserved that. He deserved that. So now we have the rotate downstairs. Two counter-terrorists move down here. This is a little bit of a mistake. Our hero here, Rollerblade Guy, with a very interesting avatar, positions himself hiding in a nuke. This is the position I, I complained about in the strat talk, right here. I don't like this spot. And one of the main reasons I don't like this spot is because you are useless to the rest of your team. If the terrorists decide to not go ramp, which, by the way, they're about to decide to not go ramp, not go downstairs, it's a very long rotate for this player. And then he leaves his other teammates sort of out there. Nuke is a map where you can get really spread out big time on CT side. And it's very important to engage as one. You're a team. You need to move in at the same time. These terrorists did a good job of staying together. And now that these uh, counter-terrorists are not on the T side, it seems like the main thing they're having trouble with is engaging as one unit. So yes, terrorists once again decide to not go downstairs leaving our hero here by himself. Let's skip forward a little bit. Yep, yep. And now Terrace have left ramp. Gonna be trying to take upstairs. Rollerblade guy's gonna try and flank him from behind, but it is way too late. He's now leaving Lecter by himself, engaging three players at one. You can see it through the wall there in the, uh, the x-ray. Engaging three players, 1v3. I mean, you're putting into a series of 1v5 was the first one, 1v4, second one, 1v4, 1v3. Now another 1v3 here. That's not what you want. You can't win doing that unless every player on your team is get right. All right, and Rollerblade Guy does go down. You deserved that. This last round here that Rollerblade Guy 47 wanted me to look at is yet again reinforcing what I've been talking about this entire time. It's sort of like, it seems like they've been dealing with how to deal with multiple opponents and at the same time how to deal with a clutcher. So you'll see in this round, another clutch will happen on the other team. Rollerblade guy, two for one. So he pretty much did his job. He tried to hold off these pushing terrorists. And that's pretty much what it was there, was pushing, t uh, pushing terrorists. They all moved together. Like four of them ran out of squeaky, one came out of the hut. He was able to take two of them down. And that's the disadvantage of getting grouped up, is what the terrorists were doing. Another thing they could have done, of course, is smokes and flashes and hand grenades. And as we see on the counter-terrorist side, they don't have that. They do not have that. Two of their players, I mean, they don't have any smokes or flash. They've already thrown a uh, smoke there. Throwing a pre-smoke to prevent those players from pushing out of the out of the, uh, the squeaky door there. Throwing a pre-nade into the group of them while they're running around. Throwing a flash to disorient them. We don't see that. And of course, this is supposed to be the higher level of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And at this level, if you want to compete, there's a number of things you have to do. You have to use the smokes and flashes. I've covered that before. And the other thing you have to do is work as a team. These guys do not work as a team. They split up and they always engage um, one at a time, which is sort of like a cliche evil overlord who sends his minions at the enemy, like, attack my minions! And each one, like, alright, it's my turn! He tags out, he runs in there and attacks the bad guy. And they have little 1v1 fights until the hero reigns supreme. Where was I going with that? I don't know, you're paying attention. Um, two other players also have ops. That is not what you want going up against a clutching come player. On, well, he does take out that one guy. So now we have one player left, and they do make that mistake. Our hero is dead, but we shall continue and watch it from the opponent's point of view. So how should they kill this clutching player? Roger. 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 And Lecter there gets a, jumps a little bit ahead of himself, does not wait for his teammates. Engages. So he was trying to take the player down because he was planting the bomb, which is a good thing to do. But what he also did was show himself, and he messed up. He wasn't able to kill the planting player. And because of that, he loses his life. One of the things he could have done, because he knows the player is planting downstairs, if he knows that, okay, I'm not going to be able to stop this guy, wait until your teammates move in. Listen, get intel on where this guy is. So don't just engage before the cavalry arrives. If they attacked him 1v3, how the heck was he going to be able to survive that? Alright, he knows where one is because of the squeaky. He heard the uh, vent break above him. So right now he has intel. 
They made noise. He knows one player is above him, and he knows one is over there uh, by that door and opened the door. So, see, he keep, he looked back and forth at the two spots because he knows where they are. Engages one. So, at this point, <laughs> we have a player dropping down on top of him, and this is why AWP is not the weapon to use in this situation. He's going up against two AWPers. If those AWPers miss any shots, they're dead. Oh, he missed his no-scope flying at the bad guy. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen. He's dead. And we see this guy over here, Mr. 1G, misses his shot as well, and... Uh, our enemy here reigns supreme. So let that be a lesson to you guys. Don't use the AWP when going for the clutch. Try to pick up a different weapon and always engage as one. When you're trying to take out a clutcher like this, use the advantage that you have. And the advantage is numbers. The advantage is also knowing, because he's a terrorist, he had to plant the bomb. The advantage is knowing where he can be. Move in strategically as a team. Check the different positions. And if you engage him... Trade your players. At this level of gameplay, you have to do that, or you're going to get destroyed by a player who knows how to play the game, has good game sense, and he didn't even have good shot. He was spraying, like full-out spraying, so I don't know what to tell you guys. you got to work as a team. Big thanks to Rollerblade Guy 47 for sending this in. Thank you all for giving us an opportunity to learn from your demo. Everybody improve, everybody get better, all that stuff. We showed you what not to do. That's no fun. Let's get a tiny little awesome owl vision. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.